What up, y'all? Just finished some recordings that I did on that microphone right there with those headphones and that interface. Working on a bunch of music, like nonstop. Not all of it I like, but I am working on stuff. I'm very wishy-washy, so I might, I might not even like it, but I might record it, because I might like it down the road, if that makes sense. That's just how I am. I go through phases, and I be thinking too much about it, so sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I'll record it, and then see what happens. I just recorded the song, and it's probably, a, it's a see what happens recording. Let's call it that. I just want to talk to y'all for a bit, let you know where I'm at, where the universe is at, and where it's headed. I just released Mona Lisa. To me, it's one of my favorite songs that I've recorded. I like bars that just like flow together and just like it, nothing is forced, you know? And I feel like that's exactly what Mona Lisa was or is. Everything just kind of goes together. Nothing's forced. Um, it just flows. The beat is like so sick. It's so simple, but it's so, so good. If you haven't listened to Mona Lisa, please check that out. I do have a, I do have an album. I know everybody's got an album, but guess what? I do too, motherfucker. I got an album. It's like 10 or 13 songs. And I'm not going to put it out for a while. I'll tell you that. Um, it's probably 75% done. I guess for anybody listening, it's called Chirp. And basically why I called it Chirp is because a lot of it was inspired from other people that I've talked to. And so basically I was having conversations with these people and their kind of their struggles and their stories and um so that's why i call it chirp because it came through conversations you know like birds chirping it's cool it's dark like some of it's dark it's like kind of fucked up and uncomfortable but i've always liked music like that so yeah i want people to hear it so that's why i'm holding on to it um i want to get a little more traction before i release it because i think it it has some valuable messages on it and it has some insight into relationships between people people that are in relationship together or relationships between strangers but yeah it's a dope album i can't wait but it might be a while i'll be honest with you it might be a while i'm gonna keep with these singles keep trying to push everything so i can get a little more traction before before i drop it i'm trying to learn a lot right now i'm always like trying to learn stuff I go through phases. It'll be like one month I, I like I like fixate on one thing and I try to learn like everything about it and then I lose interest. Right now I'm I'm trying to learn Spanish. So I've been reading these these uh, kids books. I'm reading this book called uh well I, don't, I forget what it's called, but it's about zombie gatitos. Zombie gatitos, which is zombie cats. So, I mean, that's pretty cool if you're into that type thing, which I am. I have plans to learn guitar, too, before the end of this year. I'm learning a lot about cooking. I've been baking a lot lately. I've been fucking up a lot of bacon lately, too. I'll admit it. I'll be the first one to say it. I've been fucking up a lot of shit. Today, I made this fucking fucked up banana chocolate chip cookie it wasn't even a cookie because it all mashed together like my batter was too loose and it all mashed together so it was like a chocolate banana mush but you know what i ate that thing and it wasn't that bad with the world i think a lot of people are struggling right now i feel like the average person is struggling which is like crazy I feel like the average person feels like there's nothing they can really do to improve 
their situation. And I sort of feel like that too, not in terms of music, but just like in the way we live. There's just certain things that are just seem unchangeable. But I, I, I'm optimistic, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic about it. I'll leave you guys with this thought, this question. I was going through my old notebook. I can't let you see that long. This is like personal shit. But I will let I will read you this because it's pretty deep. It's not deep, but it's kind of it's good thought provoking. What's the next level for consciousness? Once there was nothing, then the universe manifested itself into something. But nothing was alive, so the universe manifested creatures to become alive. But then there was still something missing. So then the universe manifested consciousness to experience itself and reflect on itself, which would be us. My question is, what is the universe going to manifest next to better its existence?